please explain to me how a wall is socialism, because that's, that's the craziest it's, definition it's, of socialism it's, um, I've it's, ever heard. It's taxpayer funds going towards the good of society. Is police socialism? Absolutely. <laughs> police and fire protection. Public schools, so all no. public is lands, it's all, all, it's all types so of socialism. So you believe all government is socialism? No, those are municipalities. Any, any, taxpayer, any taxpayer subsidy that's put towards the common good of society in whatever, in whatever context you think common good of society is, is a type of socialism. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're checking out Charles Cake's Smashes Fatty Cup Socialist Lecture. Guys, let's go straight into this. So um, my question to you is, we hear, we hear a big game from Turning Point USA and the right on how you want to reduce the size of government, when in fact, government under conservative leadership here the past, I don't know, eight, ten years has not been reduced, and you still talk about increasing it. The wall, farm subsidies, I could go on. So my question to you is, what do you plan on doing to reduce the size of government? How do you plan on um, pressuring your elected officials to reduce the size of government when in fact they're not doing it? They're only increasing it. Well, look, I mean, the, the, the Trump budget itself reduces government. It closes federal agencies and merges all of them. You know that there's been more federal workers that have left the federal bureaucracy than have been hired under the Trump presidency. Did you know that? No, I did not. So before you start I'd like to, to say- i see some numbers though. Okay, I just gave you a fact, so. We don't, we don't really have a chart or access to... <laughs> okay. Okay. You can, you're entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts, but that's okay. okay. So under, under President Trump, every single budget he's submitted to Congress reduces the size of government. Under President Trump for 16 months, do you know that he signed a federal hiring freeze? Did you know that? He signed a hi federal hiring freeze, sure. which by definition shrinks government because over th thousands of people every single week retire out of the federal bureaucracy. So under President Trump, the federal bureaucracy has gotten significantly smaller. That, well, well, you're trying to push forward a $13 billion wall. That's socialism at its finest. You, you, farm subsidies. What? A wall Sorry, is socialism? Farm, farm, Do you know what socialism farm subsidies? is? No, I believe in national security. The, the, the farm, I believe in defending our borders. That, I do believe in a military. What about the farm subsidies? Well, that Trump, I, the the self-induced tariffs that, wait, um, no, that are now you requiring just, can bailouts? Can we just slow down? Hold on, just slow down. Please explain to me how a wall is socialism, because that's, that's the craziest it's, definition it's, of it's, socialism um, I've it's, ever heard. It's taxpayer funds going towards the good of society. Is police socialism? Absolutely. Police and fire protection, public schools, so all no, public is lands, it's all, all, it's all types so of socialism. So you believe all government is socialism? No, those are municipalities. Any, any, taxpayer, any taxpayer subsidy that's put towards the common good of society in whatever, in whatever context you think common good of society is, is a type of socialism. And everybody here uses those types of programs. You got public lands, public roads. I'm sure everybody in here likes to go shoot their guns on public lands. Well, well first of all, government you do, takes care of that. A couple interesting facts, though, because a lot of public lands are actually paid for by hunting licenses. Therefore, the people that purchase the hunting licenses are the ones that are paying in. <laughs> secondly, secondly, the number one funder in the federal government that actually funds our transportation system is the federal gas tax. That's actually factored into your purchase of gasoline. So a lot of ways we have user taxes for the things that you're describing as socialism. So Which, the more you drive, the more you pay into it. The more you hunt, the more you pay into it. Now. To, to your interesting convoluted point that every layer of government is socialism goes directly against the author of socialism's treatise. Socialism is the public ownership of such industries. So Exactly, and you know what? Okay. Those, in, those include worker co-ops, which I'm sure everybody here shops at the community co-op, right? No. No, well if you do, if, well if you do, or, to, uh, or let me say this, town and country, who shops at town and country here? That is a worker co-op and it's a type of socialism. But it's all so voluntarily. The, hypocr so the hypocrisy here is well, it's pretty really overwhelming. So let me tell you, you know what's amazing about a capitalist system is you can voluntarily be in a co-op. So no one's forcing town and country to be in a co-op. So only in capitalism could you voluntarily put yourself in that sort of system. But if you don't want to be in a co-op, you should have the freedom to do that as well. What, what, what about the folks that are involved in capitalism that can't buy a home or that are being ripped off by the pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare industry? That's, not, that's capitalism, all right, and people are losing. You got, a, got something to say to that? Plenty. The hell, yeah, I know, actually a lot. Our, our people health are losing. Okay, but our, do you I, think I, you're losing? Uh, no, not necessarily. Well, so then who are you to speak for other people if you're not losing and you're benefiting? I'm not benefiting from the ACA whatsoever. Well, the it's, ACA, it's, it's, it's killing me. The Ameri Obamacare, well, the same thing. That's socialism, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> Give me a minute. Actually, 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 
the health the ACA is a healthcare exchange where you can go on and buy insurance in the free market. A government created. It's a it's a website. Web, it's a website. Created it's a government by what? website who, who where you can go it? buy where you can go buy different types of health insurance on the free market from private healthcare companies. How many taxes were in Obamacare? Twenty eight new taxes. You still can't buy health insurance across state lines. Hundreds and hundreds of pages of new regulation were part of Obamacare. It was 1,800 pages, and Nancy Pelosi said we have to pass it to find out what was in it. Who's it, making the profits on health care right now? Is it the government or is it private industry? Well, it's, private industry, yeah, right? Sure. Correct, but um, not if you're not if you're a veteran. You go to the that's veterans. That's not government regulated. Well, if you go to the vet, we have forms of socialized health care, and then the worst parts of our society and our culture. Medicare and it works. Well, how about Medicaid? Medicaid doesn't work, and Medicare is deeply underfunded. Medicare has sixty billion dollars of documented waste every single year, and Medicaid is health care for the poor. There's sixty-two million people on Medicaid in America right now, and the approval of people on Medicaid is sub fifteen percent. Obamacare expanded Medicaid. It is a form of socialism. It doesn't work. This idea of Medicare for all is really Medicaid for all. It is not better health care for everyone. It's destroy our good health care system and give more free stuff for, to, for, to people for more votes and then destroy the medical advancements that are inherent in our current system right now. Is our health care system broken? Absolutely. It's broken because sure, government picks and chooses winners right now. And the ACA was nothing more than a pseudo-socialist bill that the insurance companies, the hospitals, and the drug companies lobbied for through the guise of trying to benefit people. But it was pseudo-socialism because it was government-created exchanges. 18,000 new IRS agents were hired under Obamacare, hundreds of pages of new regulation, 28 new taxes, including taxes under medical excise tax, the individual mandate tax, which literally forced people to buy health care if they didn't want it in our own generation. Guys, to be honest, I would say that professor is being like, maybe his student made him very angry and he just chose to point out on Charles Keck because I really don't understand why you come a question and answer section and you won't I honestly believe that you should be looking for clarity, not you trying to stir up something or trying to make people angry or something like that. I honestly believe that when it comes to Jonah Chop, I honestly believe that he's someone that thinks a lot. Someone that like thinks about the people and he's someone that is very, very intelligent. He's rich. I believe that most rich people are intelligent. And when you see to Donald Trump speaking, he wants the betterment of America and he will see to it that his name is not really to go. You come after Donald Trump, like he's someone that have carefully thought about this kind of things, and like, you won't just see a escape plan to like hit him. Like he's his concept of things he does. Guys, I really believe that we need taxpayers' money to take care of the country, like to repair roads, pay tax for There are a lot of things that with education, like scholarships, there are a lot of things that we need the taxpayers' money for. And I see believe that it's needed in a country to function, like a country as big as America. But guys, let me think about this. Please leave your point in the comment section, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.